Before attempting to remove the unit's motor and replace the blower wheel, be sure to turn off the power source to the unit and shut off the circuit at the main electrical panel. After removing the old or damaged double inlet wheel from the motor, and realizing that you are only able to obtain two single inlet wheels for replacement, you can use them to perform the same function. Make sure that the two single inlet wheels you are using have opposite rotations. You can determine the rotation by cupping your hand in the direction that the blades lay. When you put the two wheels on the motor, they will be facing each other so that the blades are going in the same direction. Be sure that when you will place them on the motor, the wheels will be rotating in the same direction as your original wheel. On the first wheel to go on the motor, locate the notch in one of the blades. This notch will appear in line with a set screw on the wheel's hub. Place the first wheel on the motor shaft. Be sure that the set screw and location of the notch are over the flat side of the shaft. Do the same with the second wheel. Using a T-wrench, tighten the set screw through the notch of the blade. If your wheel does not have a notch in one of the blades, then you should have room to place the T-wrench between two blades to tighten the set screw. Maintain a gap of about 1 16th of an inch between the two wheels so that they won't rub. Tighten the set screw on the second wheel. Spin the wheels to make sure they rotate properly. 